This video shows a diagnostic arthroscopy of a right shoulder in a Division I college football player who has sustained multiple dislocations anteriorly in the right shoulder or to the front. To the right of the screen is the back side of the ball. To the left is the glenoid socket. You can see the pinkish colored indentation on the back of the ball which slides over the front edge of the socket and hooks on it. This is called a hill sax lesion and this indentation in the ball occurs when a dislocated shoulder occurs repeatedly or if it gets stuck on the front edge of the socket. Now we're cleaning off the front edge of the socket to assess how much bone has been lost and also to determine the quality or stoutness of the labrum and ligamentous tissues. Upon inspection, it is clear that the front of the socket has been damaged and that the normal convex contour has been uh, crunched into a concave or indented uh, contour. With this metal instrument, I'm exploring the quality of the labrum and ligament tissues in the front of the shoulder to see how stout they are and to whether a repair of these tissues would suffice to provide this football player sufficient shoulder stability. Now we are looking down the front of the socket from a superior or overhead view. There is a clear indentation to the lower right portion of your screen in the front edge of the socket. This indentation means that too much of the bone has been lost from the edge of the socket and that we will need to rebuild this using a piece of bone from the coracoid on the front of the shoulder. We would take this piece of bone as a bone graft and secure it to the front. This is called a Latter-J procedure. 